Rockstar Games. Known as one of the elite video game developers with titles such as Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, L.A. Noir, and more. Excuse me. The reason Rockstar Games has earned such a reputation is because of their extremely well put together video games. From the story, to the gameplay, to the environment, and even how alive the games feel. So how does Rockstar Games accomplish publishing so many excellent titles throughout the years? A lot of a game's success comes down to the game engine itself. A pretty common game engine that a lot of games use is Unreal Engine. Games such as Fortnite, Borderlands, Bioshock, Mass Effect, Ark, and my personal favorite, Friday the 13th, use Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine was developed in 1995 and published in 1998 by Epic Games who still control it today. Rockstar Games has even used Unreal Engine even recently on the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, which was surprising because they usually use a different game engine. Like Epic Games, Rockstar Games 2 had developed their own game engine, but it wasn't always like that. This is the story of Rage, Rockstar Advanced Game Engine. Now before we get to Rage, let's go back to the beginning, Rockstar Games beginning and talk about the game engines they used before Rage. Rockstar Games was created in December 1998 by Take-Two Interactive using assets they had previously acquired from BMG Interactive. Founding members Dan and Sam Hauser, who worked for Take-Two at the time and were previously executives of BMG Interactive. Through the acquisition, Take-Two obtained several of BMG Interactive's former intellectual properties including DMA Design's Grand Theft Auto. DMA Design would later be renamed Rockstar North after the release of Grand Theft Auto 3. Since 1999, several companies acquired by or established under Take-Two have become part of Rockstar Games. Rockstar North develops Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar San Diego develops Red Dead, Rockstar Games also has Rockstar Toronto, Rockstar Lincoln, Rockstar Leeds, Rockstar London, Rockstar New England, Rockstar India, and Rockstar Dundee. They also had Rockstar Vancouver that merged into Rockstar Toronto in 2012 and Rockstar Vienna which closed in 2006. Prior to developing Rockstar Advanced Game Engine, or Rage, Rockstar Games and primarily its Rockstar North Studio mostly used Criterion Games' Renderware Engine. They used the Renderware Engine to develop games for PlayStation 2, Windows, and Xbox, such as early 3D installments in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. In 2004, Criterion Games was acquired by Electronic Arts which led Rockstar Games to switch from Renderware and open Rage Technology Group as a division of Rockstar San Diego. Rage Technology Group started developing what would later become Rockstar Advanced Game Engine, based on Rockstar San Diego's previous Angel Game Engine. The first game to use the engine was Rockstar Games Table Tennis, released for Xbox 360 in May 2006. Since then, Rage integrates the third-party middleware components Euphoria and Bullet as character animation engine and physics engine respectively. On the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 consoles, Rage had issues with optimizations such as lower resolution and minor graphic effects such as Grand Theft Auto 4, Midnight Club Los Angeles, and Red Dead Redemption. Rage's strengths are its ability to handle large streaming worlds, complex AI arrangements, weather effects, fast network code, and a multitude of gameplay styles. Since the release of Max Payne 3, Rage was capable of rendering 720p as well as Grand Theft Auto 5. For the remastered versions of Grand Theft Auto 5, Rage was reworked with 1080p for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. The PC version of the game, released in 2015, showed Rage supporting 4K resolution and frame rates at 60 frames per second, as well as more powerful draw distances, texture filtering, and improved shadow mapping and tessellation quality. 
Rage would later be refined with the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018, supporting physically based rendering, volumetric clouds and fog values, pre-calculated globo illumination as well as Vulcan renderer in the Windows version. The Euphoria engine was overhauled to create advanced AI as well as enhanced physics and animations for the game. HDR support was added in May 2019. Support for NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling was added in July 2021. And that's what brings us to today. With Grand Theft Auto 6 set to release next, and with the GTA 6 leaks that occurred late last year, Rage has definitely improved even farther. Every new Rockstar Games release has been better than the previous. The games get better and better. There's no telling how advanced Rage will be by GTA 6's release. But they keep improving and advancing it year after year. Some games released by Rockstar Games don't use Rage or Renderware. The first two Max Payne games were developed by Remedy using their game engine. L.A. Noire was developed by Team Bondi and does use the Rage engine. The first Red Dead known as Revolver was previously Angel Studios and used the Angel game engine, which was used to create the current Rage engine. So who has the better game engine? Rockstar Games or Epic Games? Rage or Unreal Engine? Unreal 5 is said to have 12K resolution while Rage 9 is said to have 16K resolution. Unlike Unreal Engine, which is free to use for learning and developing in internal projects, no one is allowed to use Rage outside the industry and it's only used in Rockstar games. Take-Two and Rockstar are very strict about that and people who violate those rules almost always face legal consequences. And that was the full story of the Rockstar Advanced Game Engine. My name is Sean Easy. Welcome to my world. Appreciate you watching this video. Feel free to check out the channel. There might be more content you like on there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.